of the channel. Right, not working on the Range Rover Sport today. I have been summoned to do some work on the Classic. And some of you wanted to see some work on the Classic, and uh, I have been summoned to do some work on the Classic. So I'm going to do front disc and pads. Uh, it needs poly bushes all round, front core springs. Uh, I think that's it for now, but that's enough to keep me going for a little while anyway. So I'm going to start with the front brakes first. But before I do that, I'll just show you around of what's been done so far. So there we go. All this has uh, been welded up now. New, new pieces to the bottom of the A-posts. And it's all looking rather good in there, isn't it? So the bloke who's doing it, so I said before, he's doing an absolutely blinding job of it. The other side is going to have the whole new, the whole lot. You can buy the whole inner wing, and that's what's going to be done on the other side. And I think it comes all the way down and joins to that floor seam there, all the way to the front. Right, I'm going to start off with doing the discs and pads. As you can see with them discs, they are, especially this outer face, is worn really, really thin, so they are toast. Right, let's get on it. Using a 17 mil on that top bolt, but they're actually five eighths. the wrong spring.
Okay, so that's the disc on the hub, and we have also got, which is being painted at the moment, a new back plate to go on there. Because that's looking rather scabby, so we've got a new one of them. So, the reason why I've got a scissor jack underneath the hub is because this here is the upper pivot for the steering, and the brake pipes are held to it on this plate, two bolts. And when you undo those two bolts, this hub assembly drops. And causes oil as you can see to leak out of the bottom of the tractor ball look so put a scissor jack under it to lift it up and it'll stop it from leaking and hopefully keep it in its rightful place while you've got the bolts out there as soon as you put the bolts back in it'll be fine again right so I've temporarily put them bolts back in there just to keep the swivel wells in up and stop it from leaking Clean your swivel wells and up, taking the back plate off, so we're now ready to have the uh, put the new back plate on. So while I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the, the new back plates, I will start stripping this side.
Right, for those of you that don't know, to set this, you can't just gun it up tight because you'll mash the bearings because they're taper bearings. So it's basically, you just nip it. What's that touching? Oh, it's in there. I was tweaking a little bit, do that in a minute. And that's it. That's all you do with that. Now, really, you're supposed to replace this, but if it's not been used a million times, you can just flatten it out. So that's what I've done. And then put that on there. And then do up the lock nut. And the lock nut you can do tight. Okay, so I applied some sealant to that. I'm sliding back in. Right. So as well that I wouldn't have it lined up. Where's that bolt gone then? It's this kind of thing that just really winds me up. I put all the bolts on there, so why is there one missing? So I caliper, caliper bolts, springs and pins for the caliper. They were on there, so... What the hell? So it's totally disappeared. To do it up with that one missing for now, otherwise the sealant's going to dry. Um, and I'll have to search for this bolt later on. I'll get the uh, 
the other side all done now, but that, that's just baffled me. Because it is just nowhere to be seen. Like, I hope it hasn't rolled down there. Oh, God knows. Two hours later. Found it. Okay, caliper's back on. But these two pistons are seized. I'm sure I'll wait, you can see that. They are solid, that's as far back as they'll go. And of course, I can't get the new pad in. So either the calipers are gonna need rebuilding or replacing. So the back plate is on. I've painted all the um, swivel housing. So now, replace the brake disc and put the hub back onto there. Same process as before, undo the bolts and beat the shit out of it. one of them's rounded off or is the socket split? Now what's happened there then? No, the socket's had it, it? Right, so I need to find another 916 socket now. Deep joy. Um, and that was that. Um, my phone had 50% battery in it and um, I went off to get a socket which took me all of about two minutes. Come back, my phone was completely dead and I had no way of recharging it. So I had to finish the job without you. So yeah, I do apologize for that. There wasn't really a great deal I could do. I had to finish the job, so. Um, so that's that really. Um, join me next time. Um, I'll be doing a bit more work on it. Obviously I said core springs and the guy wants poly bushes all round on it as well. So I'll be doing one or the other next time, or at least starting the poly bushes and maybe getting the core springs in. I don't know. See see how time goes, really. Um, I spoke to the bloke that owns the Classic today, and he has got absolutely tons and tons of pictures and video of, like, as it was before and during the, during the work. So I've given him my number. He's going to WhatsApp me a load of pictures videos and whatever you and i'll put something together to to give you an idea what the car was like when it first came in and some of the progress that, that that's been made on it so until then look after yourselves i'll see you next time